So first things first, what do you even know about Rochester? What did you know about Rochester prior, prior to the moves that were made a couple of weeks ago? Uh, just, I, I know that they're the expansion Rochester Nighthawks, but there's a, a deep tradition that is in the city of Rochester right before the, the expansion team happened. And growing up in Toronto, there was three teams that uh, a Toronto boy would go to. You'd either go to the Toronto Rock, the Buffalo Bandits, or you'd go to the Rochester Nighthawks. So it was pretty special to uh, get the call and say that I was going to play for the Rochester Nighthawks, being that guy growing up and going to watch Rochester Nighthawks games as kids. You talk about getting that call to join the Nighthawks. I mean, what were the discussions like with general manager Dan Carey prior to the moves being made, if there were any at all? Yeah, so uh, I got a call about two weeks before the expansion draft happened from the Vegas GM, Sean Williams, and he said he was going to take me, but to hold tight that there could be a, a potential trade in the works. And then about two or three days later, he called me again. He said, I've, I've made a deal with the Rochester Nighthawks. Uh, they're happy to have you. And then about five minutes after that call, Dan Carey called me and he kind of explained the situation and how, uh, how it was all going to go down. And, you know, I was, I was super excited. Um, Rochester is close to home and it's, it's three hours opposed to picking up the family and going down to Vegas and my family can still come to every home game. So at the end of the day, I think Vegas is an intriguing, in, intriguing spot for, a young player uh, in this league. But at the end of the day, when you sit down and you look at it, it as a family and as a, a, a young, a young family, I just had a newborn. Uh, the move to Rochester is, is amazing. So. When did you have your baby? Uh, about 10 months ago, we had our baby. So awesome. The one year is coming up. So you talk about the communication with Dan, what has the communication been like with your teammates? Have you played with any of these players that are here in Rochester? Uh, I haven't had a, a chance to play with uh, many guys on the team, but uh, the amount of players that reached out uh, to me as soon as I got traded was outstanding. Like I got uh, a text from Rylan Reese, just saying how excited he was for for me to join the team, Captain uh, Paul Dawson, he texted me right away. He said, uh, welcome to the team. It was just, it was amazing to see how many guys like Dan Coates as well. He, he sent me a message. It was, it's pretty, uh, pretty nice to see that the teammates in Rochester, uh, as soon as it happened, it was like, you're a part of this team now and welcome. And we can't wait to, to have you. Um, like guys like Thomas Hogarth and Holden Katoni, they played for the Peterborough Lakers in the, in the MSL. And we were playing against them a day or two after I got traded. And both of them came up to the floor, tapped me on the pads and said, welcome to Rochester. So it's just amazing. The culture that has already been shown to me in the, in the first couple of weeks of being a member of the team. It's pretty, pretty cool. You just mentioned culture right there. What you've been shown already has been really exciting to be a part of. How important is culture when you were looking at this move that was about to be made for you? Yeah, when I when I sit down and I look at this uh, this franchise in Rochester, they're young, but it they also have a sprinkle of uh, veteran leaders in there, and it just the culture is is such a big thing. When you when you go to a team, you need a team that's very tight and I think Rochester has that and it's a good spot to win a championship in the in the future so you talk about the young players sprinkled onto this roster along with the veterans it's a young goaltending tandem you've been playing behind goaltender Nick Rose for the last several years I mean how exciting is it looking ahead to what you can add to a goaltending core that's really trying to establish themselves in this league yeah, no, like you said it, I, I played multiple years behind Nick Rose and I have nothing but great things to say about him. He taught me a ton here in Toronto and it, it made me the goalie I am now. And uh, given this opportunity now in Rochester, it's it's um, it's an opportunity that I think uh, will, will give me time in the net. But I also have a great partner in Rylan uh, Hartley. I grew up playing against Rylan and he's a uh, he's a great goalie and I, I just can't wait to be his teammate and push him to be better. Just like I hope he pushes me to be better. And when we, when we go on runs, if I'm in the net, uh, I'm sure he'll be right behind my back. And if he's in, in the net, he'll be right behind my back. So 
I've heard nothing but great things about Rylan and a teammate he is. So I'm just looking forward to being his, his goalie partner. So, What else are you looking forward to? What excites you the most about this move for the upcoming season? I guess just coming in a fresh start uh, for myself. Like you said, I've, I haven't got the opportunity to play much in the NLL. So it excites me that I, I do get that opportunity to have some minutes in the NLL. Uh, I guess an off floor thing is that there's the dinosaur barbecue down in, in Rochester. So uh, my family and I, we, like I said, growing up in Rochester is, is one of those things that you go to, it's a road trip for the family. So the dinosaur barbecue is the, I guess, a pregame meal for, spot for me now. <laughs> I was going to say, I have to ask, what is the go-to order at dinosaur barbecue then if you love it that much? Uh, it's, I, there's this like three meat platter that I get when I'm there and comes with a piece of cornbread, ribs, uh, pulled pork, all hot wings. It's, it's lights out. So 